Alright, what's up guys? Uh, this video is going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPod in firmware version 1.4. This is the real jailbreak and uh, this will get everything can work and I'm also going to show you how to get some boards to work and iPhone applications if you don't already have them. Okay, so you're just going to want to restore your iPod in 1.1.4 if that's not the latest firmware, like if it's 1.1.5 then I'll put a link to download it, but since it's the latest, I'm just going to click restore. I'll, I will turn my camera back on once it's done. Okay, my iPod has finished its up upgrade or restore, and then it's going to say this. This thing's going to pop up. Set up your iPod. You're going to want to X out of iTunes. Just X it all out, and then go to this link that's in my description, right side of my video. Um, it's going to bring you to this. If you have an if you have a Mac, you're going to want to right click on this, and then click Save As. But I don't have a Mac, so it's not going to say it. But if you have Windows, you're just going to double click, double click on the Windows or the top one and save it. And then make sure at the top it says Desktop, which it does for me. That, and then just click Net, uh, click Save. This is going to take a couple minutes to download, so I'm going to turn off my camera, and I'll get back to you once it's done. Okay, it uh, finished its download, so now I'm going to uh, go ahead and open it up. It's right here. You're gonna to want to double click on it, and I get my. It's probably gonna ask me if I want to allow it. Yeah, that's just my um, spyware protecting my computer. Uh, just click OK, and it's gonna tell you to unzip it. So click unzip, and then this thing should load, and it's gonna open right here. There we go. Now make sure your iPod is still connected to your computer, which mine is. Uh, see, so edit home screen. It's in 1.1.4. Now, if you have an iPhone, you're going to want to click Jailbreak iPhone, which is right there. But since I have an iPod Touch, um, I'm going to click on iPod, obviously. And um, another thing, this is, um, my iPod is 32 gigabytes. I don't know if you guys can see, but no, it's kind of hard. It's 32 gigabytes. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on iPod Touch. This should only take about a minute. iPhone is detected, rebooting in recovery mode. So it'll tell you what's going on. There, mm -hmm. it's done rebooting, it's working. And now you're going to see some really weird stuff. There we go. Happen to your iPod. Just let that go. Let it load. Let it load. Okay, it's about halfway done. Please wait while your iPhone slash iPod is being modified. The process takes less than a minute is normal that while text scrolls on your iPhone oh that's what that was the text um, if the process process takes more than three minutes something is probably wrong try pressing stop and restart the application and if you have that problem stop process is right there and then you're gonna have to just restart this meaning exit mm -hmm. out and then re-click and open it okay it looks like it's done and as you can see I have installer application and the iPhone. Okay, so while I uh, connect to my network and just get my iPhone ready for to install stuff, I'm just going to turn off my camera. Okay, I've connected to my network. Not videos. I've connected to my network, so I'm going to go ahead and open up installer, and it's going to ask me to refresh sources. Um, so let it do that. Might take a little bit. Refreshing. Alright, there we go. Looks like it's about done. Okay, um... You're just gonna update it. If it tells you to update anything, you should probably do that. Alright, there we go. Installer updated. Now I'm just going to connect into the dock because I don't need my computer anymore. So, there we go. It's in the dock. Alright, now you can see everything is still there. So you're gonna want to go into installer, and this is how to get SMB prefs or server boards which gets you custom icons and custom wallpapers now go into um... system click on system under categories and install something called BSD subsystem this is going to take a minute or two to install so I'm probably going to be fast forwarding through this oh, actually being how slow it is I'm just going to turn off my camera I'll be right back okay um... BSD subsystem finishes its install and now you're going to want to go into all packages and 
download Summerboard or install Summerboard and uh, it's going to be two Summerboards, either Summerboard Old or Summerboard just uh... let's see, where is it? there we go just download Summerboard being that you're on the latest jailbreak firmware version Summerboard install what that that should be real quick, let it load and you must restart your iPhone before change can take place that's, that's you know that already alright there we go somewhere board is done and I'm just gonna let my iPod uh, do its little thing putting some board on my home screen alright there we go now we're just gonna have to edit add a source you're gonna wanna click sources on the bottom right top right click edit top left click add this is going to pop up and it's going to tell you to type something in and what you're going to have to type in I will probably flash up on the screen or I will just say it out loud Alright, there we go. Um, I probably was just doing fast forward, so top right click done once that's done refreshing sources. And then now click on install. Now you should see something called Summerboard Fix. You see it right there? You're going to want to click on that. And then it's going to say SMB Themes Fix. Click that and then click install. Now this should be real quick to download. And then there we go. Now some board should be working, let that load. Slide to lock. Now click on some board just to show you that it works. I'll pick a theme, I'll do Lily Montana or I'm not even sure I can't see what it is. It's probably not gonna work. I'm gonna normally for your first one you have to turn off your iPod. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, probably gonna fast forward, so just turn off your iPod and then restart it. So there we go, fast forward. Got this theme working. You can see custom icons, YouTube, and settings is different. And there we go. And now, if um, when you did the jailbreak, you don't have iPhone applications, you're gonna want to just click install under categories. Um, under categories, there should be iPhone 1.1.4 applications. If you don't have them, just tap that and click install. But I have them, so looks like my iPod is done. It's in 1.1.4. Everything is working fine. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment or message me if you have any questions, problems, um, add-ons to what I, what anything that's updated in this video. So just um, tell me that stuff, and I'll see you guys later.